Welcome to another how-to series. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. I support products such as Apex One, Office Scan, Control Manager, and a slew of other things. So today we're talking about the security agent system requirements, uh, the generic hardware requirements needed to install the agent on a system. As you can see, the, the processor requirements are fairly minimal. If you're running a 32-bit processor, the minimum is one gigahertz, not not really recommended. Uh, <laughs> our recommended is a minimum of two gigahertz on an Intel Pentium or equivalent. We also support AMD processors and Intel 64 processors. In my experiment, experience, the, the preferred minimum processor would be the Intel i5. It comes in most business loadouts already. That's usually the minimum that most people order nowadays. I, I haven't really seen an i3 in a fairly long period of time, but uh, it would work on an i3. However, i5 will reduce the impact on your users. RAM is the same same type of deal. It's a very minimal uh, required spec to run the agent. Um, if you're gonna be running all of our, our modules, such as the vulnerability protection and especially endpoint sensor, then you're gonna wanna beef it up a little bit. So our minimums are, are low, as you can see. Uh, the recommended is four gigabytes. However, most business spec computers right now come with eight gigabytes, and I, I would really recommend going to eight gigabytes so you don't have as much of an impact during scans or IOC sweeps or things of that nature. The disk space, again, fairly minimal. Um, 1.5 gigabyte, uh, that's with nothing else. That is the bare minimum for just the agent to exist and do the things it needs to do. Uh, the recommended is two gigabytes, and that's without endpoint sensor, vulnerability protection, application control, or DLP. If you're going to be installing all of them, uh, you're going to want about three gigabytes of available space. And the endpoint sensor, you can modify the database stored on the agent side. So take into consideration how large you want that database to be. By default, it comes at about two gigabytes uh, set, so you may want to just have four, maybe maybe a few more gigabytes available than four. I would personally recommend about eight gigabytes uh, available space just so you can store all the logs you need. Maybe the user goes out and they can't send the logs right away. Uh, you don't have an edge relay set up, for example. So that'll take up a little bit of space and then the endpoint sensor database itself takes up space. So our supported operating system have, have changed over the course of time uh, with the deprecation of older operating systems. So this is the generic matrix uh, that we're running off of now. Essentially, we support uh, Windows 7 SP1 up and then Windows Server 2008 R2 and up. So Windows 2003 gone, XP is gone, uh, Windows Server 2008 non-R2, because we call that standard, uh, gone as well. So if you have any of those, then you're going to want to check out maybe our deep security as a service if you're looking to upgrade your Office Scan environment to Apex One. 